Right. Hello, I'm Pluto and welcome to STEM 4. We're growing bacteria. There are a few things you need for this activity. You need three petri dishes. You should have three of these sterile swabs. If not, Q-tips works. Your petri dishes should be sealed. At the moment, they should be covered in parafilm. You should have pulled them fresh out of the refrigerator. If not, that's okay. So starting off, those are the things you'll have in your kit or your petri dishes and your swabs. It is helpful if you have a or a crown and some paper. Uh, but to start off, we're going to actually unwrap a kind of tape-like substance that is around our petri dishes. And that can go ahead and be tossed away. You don't need it anymore. That was just to make sure that they were still sterile. So you have two parts to your petri dish, the lid and the base. This has agar in it. Agar is a substance that is made of seaweed. It is similar to gelatin. Um, don't touch that. We're gonna do some stuff with it. So once you have all three of the petri dishes unwrapped, we're going to put them lid side down. Head down and not drop them. And we're going to take our marker and we're going to draw a line straight down the middle. Just like that. That can be perfect, it doesn't have to be. And then when you've done that with all three of your Petri dishes, it should look something like this. I've got three lines down all three of my Petri dishes. You're now <clears throat> going to number our petri dishes. So I'm going to write one on this side, two on this side. And you're going to continue that through six. And I didn't come out the greatest here, but that's okay. And now we're going to think up six things in our houses, including siblings, parents, yourself, that you can take your swabs and go and swab them. When you have those six things, you are going to either write them on the line of the Petri dish on both sides, one object per side. So if you come up with toilet or plant, you're going to write plant on one side. toilet on the other, like this, or you can write them down on a piece of paper that you've numbered one through six. I personally prefer writing them on the petri dishes because that's how we do it in the lab. Um, and then from there, you're going to go find these things and you're going to take your swab and you're gonna gently run your swab in kind of a rolling motion on the object that you've chosen and then you're going to open your petri dish so the agar is on the bottom and you're going to gently, don't break the agar, roll it across that half of the petri dish. When you're done with all six of those, you can place them either upside down or right side up in a warm, dark place and that'll help the bacteria grow because it's a place they like to be. They like to hide in warm, dark places. So I put mine in the bathroom underneath the sink. You can put them in the garage. People put them in the pantry. Um, a big thing with these is because we're not sure what we're growing, we want to wash our hands. You don't want to open the lids to these once you start seeing stuff grow. Um, you want to make sure these don't get bumped around too much. They're not going to get picked up and moved or opened by younger siblings. Don't lick them. Don't attempt to eat them. 
agar itself is edible. Once you put stuff on the agar, it is no longer edible. Please don't get sick. But once you're done putting them in a warm, dark place, go ahead and wash your hands or put hand sanitizer on. And then you can take a piece of paper and write down your thoughts of what you think is going to grow the most bacteria. If you don't want to do that, that's okay. But in the science world, it's not considered science unless you write it down. So writing down what you want to swab on the bottoms of your petri dishes counts as writing it down. Um, but from there, we're going to let these sit for at minimum 48 hours. You should see a little bit of growth. And then within a week, you should see a lot more growth. Um, go ahead. When you're done, you can post them to the day camp Facebook page if you would like to show us kind of all your gross findings. From there, um, you can throw your swabs in the trash. If you want to dispose of your petri dishes, make sure your trash can is lined with either a plastic bag or a trash bag, just so nothing escapes into the world. Um, we are sadly not recyclable. Um, but otherwise, you should have bacteria growing in just a few days. It's really gross. I have some over here that have been sitting for a little bit. And this one, I actually swabbed the inside of my mom's mouth. So you can see something growing here at the top and you can see a few little other speckles growing through the agar. Um, this one is dated just so I know when I swabbed it and then I swabbed my friend's mom's mouth. So she's got a lot more speckles. She's got two younger kids. So I'm assuming she's gonna have a little bit more bacteria on her. So she's got a few more little speckles. And then I have some here that are fresh. This one has, I swabbed my wax melt and my face. But this one has stuff growing over here, kind of in the middle there. But dating them is good. You don't have to. Um, usually we don't in the labs because we have a fancy machine that grows the bacteria within the hour. Um, otherwise, that is it. Make sure to wash your hands, be safe. Don't go you know, eating anything that you don't know what it is. And yeah, hope you guys have fun.